I always love having you on the show, and I, I know that you flew all the way from London to come here to do yeah. our show, so I, yeah. I do appreciate that. Do you, do you mind traveling like that? Is that... Well, it, um, honestly, I shouldn't complain. It doesn't get any better. I go first class BA, it's lovely, and yet there's always someone that can still annoy me. There's always... It doesn't matter where you are, honestly. It's, it's like... Right, so last time, flying, flying back, last time I did this show, I got on the plane, we were on the runway, right? Again, first class, lovely. There was a guy just there next to me, and he was yawning like this. <laughs> so I looked at him, right, like that, and then he did it again. <laughs> so I checked that he didn't have anything wrong with him, right? <laughs> yeah, like, that would have been embarrassing, yeah, right? You know, sure, and yeah. then after, uh, people were looking around as well, and I was going, like that, right? Yeah, exactly. And then, and he was about sort of <laughs> 55, and then about the 15th time he went, Ugh. oh, excuse me, mate, can you do it without the noise at the end? <laughs> right? You really yeah. said that And he me. went, oh, sorry. Uh, and then I thought, oh, I've got seven hours next to him now. <laughs> right, okay, so I was in a restaurant, right? And uh, uh, it was a lovely restaurant, right? It was nice and quiet. I'd eat about 6 p.m., so it's nice and quiet. And uh, the waiter came over, and, um, Every time he sort of walked back and forth, he just went. <laughs> 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 and no, that would and I was that. going, Geez. and James going, you can't say. I was going. <laughs> Every time he did it, <laughs> <laughs> like that. It was a woman on the plane that annoyed me because she was too tired, right? She was sort of, sort of um, young, right? And she, and she got up and went to the toilet. She walked past me, and she was sort of doing that. She was too tired, like that. I wanted to go. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, you grown woman. Come yeah. on. Is your whole family funny? Is everybody funny in the family? Um, I think so. I remember growing up. It was like the first thing that I, you know, everyone had a laugh. My older brother Bob. Um, it was. It was. I think he was my first experience of people saying and doing what they wanted to be funny, and he sort of got away with it somehow. Yeah. And. Uh, we had a rule growing up. I talk about him on my old um, stand-up at Humanity. He's about 11 years older than me, and he once spent um, an hour in the 99-cent store just asking the cashier how much everything was. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Until this poor guy was having a breakdown. He was having a breakdown. Um, uh, I do, at my, um, my uh, dad's funeral, um, we were all outside. No, it's funny, it's funny stuff, right? Um, we were outside in the graveyard. I think Bob, Bob was having a cigarette, right? And our Uncle Mick came along, and we hadn't seen Uncle Mick for, like, about 20 years, right? And uh, well, last time we saw him, he was about 50, and now he's about 70, and he hadn't aged well, right? So he walked up, right, <laughs> and this old man, he went, hello, boys, and Bob sort of looked at him and recognised him and sort of went, Jesus, like that, right? And then Bob looked around the graveyard and said, is there any point you going home? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. Yeah, I know. That's a good but joke. But Bob would say anything. We had a simple rule. If you think of something funny, you've got to say it. He, um, <laughs> right, you, you'll probably have to bleep this. Um, so we are all in the car once, right? Bob was driving, and we just got a, a random sort of stop, like a security check, right? And, uh, and uh, the, the copper sort of looked in the window, said, where are you off to? And we said, uh, Bogner. And uh, he went, will you just uh, open the trunk, please? And he looked in the trunk, and, and then he came up to Bob's window again, and he had one of those sort of mirrors with a stick on it, just yeah. looking under the car like that. And as he did that, his helmet fell off, yeah. and out of the helmet fell, like, 20 cigarettes. And the copper just went, oh, just being nice. He just said to Bob, I bet you always wonder what we kept under our helmets. And Bob went, I knew it wasn't f***ing brains. <laughs> Why did he say that? Why did he say that? To a car. Why did he say oh it? Yeah. Gosh, he just had I, to say he, it. He just had to say it, yeah. yeah. Uh, you look good. I mean, every time we come on, we... No, you do. Yeah. No, every time we come You've on... You've got to say that No, I don't everyone. have to say it, because I'm wearing I wouldn't... black. It's slimming. It can't work miracles, but, um... <laughs> How am I? I'm, I'm a year closer to death than last time I saw you. That's <laughs> it. Come on. Every time I see you, I'm slightly closer to death. Yeah, right? I know, but don't One get... day you're going to ask me how I am and I'm literally just going to be dead <laughs> in the chair, right? <laughs> oh, no, come I don't on. worry about it anyway, I don't care. I don't, don't care. No, I don't worry about being dead. So, uh, but um, do you, look... you, you don't know about it. That's the best thing about being dead. You don't know about it. It's like being stupid. It's only painful for others. So I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't... I don't care. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.